Okay, sir, let me get this straight. I need to be relieved so I can be told to keep my check-ins with the pood briefer. How about this? I'm all about efficiency and uh, multitasking, so I'm going to consider myself trained at this point, and I'd like to respectfully request to go back to roving. Petty Officer Finney, Navy regulations instruct that training must be conducted to correct the deficiency. I agree, Nav, and training was awesome. Thanks so much, sir. Can I get back to roving now? Duty Chief, Duty Officer, it's one j Hey, Nav, why is it so important that he keeps roving? Say again, Petty Officer Keen. I think we're compromising security if he spends too much time roving. If you remain in close proximity for an extended period of time, the risk arises that both watch standards could be compromised simultaneously. But, sir, if the sentry's roving, the risk arises that one of us could be compromised without alerting the other watch standard. Haven't you seen any Indiana Jones or James Bond movie? Who gets hit in the head with a rock or judo chopped in the back of the neck and then gets found in his boxer shorts behind a bunch of crates? The rover. I believe the sentry and the ship are safer if the sentry limits his time away on security robes. Petty Officer Keen, the sentry is required to continuously rove the ship to ensure safety and security. And leave me all alone here to get taken out? There's safety and strength in numbers, sir. Petty Officer Keen, I am a commissioned officer in the Unified Space Navy. You will secure from questioning my instructions. Oppositional authority. That's original, sir. Duty Chief, Duty Officer X1J. Hey, what'd you do there? I pressed his off button. I didn't know you could do that. It's an Uli. Oh, hell no. Who put the duty officer in standby? Who put the duty officer in standby? Matt, you know you need CO's permission to put an officer unit in standby. I think he just fell asleep. Bull crap. Hey, Chief, is there any situation where the CO would give permission to put an officer unit in standby? What did I tell you by using that common sense crap? And how many times I tell you to roll? Why aren't you rolling? Hey, shipmate. You need to get rolling. And I know I don't have to remind you to roll. Um, none? What, mother- Well, Chief, uh, first you asked me a question, then you made more of a recommendation, then you said you didn't need to remind me to rove. Technically, you never actually told me to rove. Rove, moron! Rove, moron, I, Chief. Y'all gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> Duty Chief, find a relief for Petty Officer Finney. Sir, that's not necessary. I had a talk with Finney, and he will limit the time he spends on his check-ins with the food. He's roving as we speak, sir. And with watch turn up so close, it would be ineffective training to get him a relief at this point. Very well, Duty Chief. I will be down in the mock if you need me. Nice save, Chief. Nice save, huh? Wait and see if I'm on time for y'all's weapons turnovers. Yeah, punk. I'm just messing with you, Chief. So, Jim has a crush on Pam. But she's engaged to Roy. Who's Roy? He works in the warehouse. Oh. So Pam and Roy break up. But Roy finds out Jim and Pam kissed at an office party before the breakup. So does Roy do anything? He goes to the office to kick the crap out of Jim. But then Dwight fries Roy's eyeballs with an entire can 
of pepper spray. Is Pam hot? I'd eat the corn out of her poop. Oh, so more of a girl next door type then. All conditions normal, topside and on the pier. All conditions normal, topside and on the pier, I. Uh, you said pier. As Peter Griffin would say. <laughs> I wish I had some pepper spray right now.